The Gutenberg project is upon us. After the release of WordPress 5, the new block editor to write and manage content inside posts and pages is available out of the box. Sure thing, the response from the community hasn't been completely positive, with many concerns related to performance, backward compatibility, and the slightly steeper learning curve even for veteran users compared to the classic editor. No matter how many plugins are available to revert back to the classic editor, the Gutenberg project is here to stay, and its evolution and growth will force developers to adopt this new approach or be left behind. Also, based on the announcements for the next phase, which will see the block approach stepping outside the content area allowing to manage widgets and navigations, it's definitely time to fully embrace Gutenberg and be ready to add this extra skill to our belt. In this tutorial series, we will take a look on how to create a really simple plugin to extend the basic blocks currently available on a fresh WordPress installation. We will see how to create custom Gutenberg blocks for posts and pages, how this new approach is handled by WordPress from both PHP and JavaScript point of view, and we're gonna start to dip our toes into the React world. We will build a series of reusable blocks from really simple editable text areas to more complex components using the REST API to asynchronously fetch content. Be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell to not miss any of the upcoming tutorials and feel free to leave me a comment below this video to let me know which block you wish to see coded in this series. Thank you for watching and happy coding!